Hey, welcome back to Triple R. Today we're going to take a look at a game called Rave Run. Got it a while back off Amazon, so it's probably, I'm sure it was under 10 bucks. Um, kind of forgot about it, saw it in the closet. I was like, well, let's open it up, check it out. All right, welcome back to Triple R. Here is Rave Run, the card game. Let's open it up here. Fantasy cover art there. Two to three players, 15 minutes, so a short game. Some card examples on the back here. It's like an elf. Gain absolute power. Players incorporate the roles of the rulers. Fighting battles to take over the land of Raven Run. Each of them has mercenaries of dubious loyalty at its disposal. All right. I'm G3, not familiar with that. I'm already kind of a fan of this card size, though. I like that a lot. All right. It's not going to be how to play because I've never played it. It's going to be an unboxing to check out the components. And might not be too much to it. The instructions don't look too too bad. Here's your layout. Uh, these are in German, so that'll help me. Uh, all right. Those are in German as well. Hmm. Well, okay. Okay, here we go. So there's like three instructional booklets, it looks like. Seems kind of a waste. Let's see what type of cards we have here. Okay. During the reign of Waldorf the Calm. So that's some lore up here. 24 cards, 8 character cards, 3 cards, these are ABC values, increase from 1A to 8C. The aim of the game, aim of the game is to have a card with the highest value on top of your stack at the end of the game. Okay. Those cards, put a number of cards in your hand, pots, so some stacking, looks like how you're going to stack it on here. Of course, the game. All cards to be shuffled in a two player game. Each player receives seven cards, six in a three player game. First round, turn over the following each player chooses one of the cards in their hand, face down, like whoever's highest number, or something like that. Blah, blah, blah. Of course, the game. Game lasts a few rounds. Each of the rounds divided divided into three subsequent phases. The player's got a card with the highest value on top of their stack, decides what the order of players place their cards on the battlefield. According to that order, each player places one face of card in front of them, creating his or her own battlefield. There may be more than one on each battlefield. The new cards are placed beside the cards placed earlier. Oh, I guess he's a stack. Uh, an example here. Adam has got a card with the highest value on top of the stack, so he decides about the order which players will place the cards in the battlefield in accordance to that order each player places a card. Okay, so how do we know he has the highest number? Alright, let's look at the cards, I guess. So, two page instructions, not bad. The battle. Battle is won by the player, play the card with the highest value. On his battlefield, the card with the highest value stays on the battlefield on its other side. Other cards are placed on top of the player's deck. Player stack. All right. So it seems like a simple, almost like a war game. Then you have actions. So three cards have special actions here. Like I said, I haven't played it, so I can't give like reading instructions isn't the same thing. I don't think it's actually playing the game. So. 
Let's go look at the components here. It was just a stack of cards, which is not a bad thing. No dice, no stupid meeples. Um, so just a straight up card game, which is not a bad thing in my opinion. Not a big fan of the fiddly bits that comes in a lot of games. Or makes this more tedious. All right, got like an ogre here. Uh, value of one. Then uh, whatever this means. I got a goblin, value of two. I got a wood elf. I don't know if I'm a big fan of that art. The art's okay. It's very standard. Uh, Someone's like an elf archer. This looks maybe like a little halfling, kind of like hobbit feet almost. Then you have your human, well, no, that's probably a dwarf. Looks pretty short. Maybe it's a human, I don't know. It's hard to tell. Okay. You know, like a minotaur, looks like. Oh, well, those are the big guys. And these are all the same. Uh, we're curious what the card layout was again. Twenty-four char twenty-four cards, eight character cards, three cards each. Okay, ABC values. One eight eight C. Okay, ABC. Got it. ABC. All right, so sets of three. Well, that seems like a pretty simple game. Um, maybe too simple. <laughs> if it's just war, it kind of looks like when, like a little. A lot of these games do that. Put some decent art on a war game and give it like an extra mechanic and be like, oh, here's my game. So I'm not a huge fan of that. I shouldn't say that quite yet, so I haven't played the game technically, but like. Uh, what it looks like it's not um overly involved this isn't a bad thing that, that is a box opening for raver oh that's a raven run i think earlier it's raver run for raver run okay thanks for watching triple r have a good day or night wherever you are